Welcome back to the Michael Bazin Show. We're going to be getting back to domestic violence shortly, but right now I wanted to talk to uh, Shirley Losiel, the mother of the missing child of the week, Abiana Losiel. Uh, to all the family in 98.7 KISS FM in New York, this child is from Brooklyn. She's 15 years old. She's been missing since December 27th. And Shirley, as a parent, George and I can only imagine what you're going through missing Abiana. What, what happened? How did she end up missing? She has reports when after school program. She basically left home at about 1.40 and she never made it back home. You know, um, more or less, I really do believe something wrong could have happened because mm. she doesn't usually stay out so late, and it's been going on about three months. I've reached out to the police officers. The missing persons report was done, although they told me that I officially would have to wait for 24 hours mm-hmm. to submit the paperwork. When I realized that calling 911... Yes, they will show up, but you can't force police officers to do a missing persons report. Right. So I had to basically drive out to the precinct that responds to my home address and had to speak to the sergeant. Eventually, a missing persons report was done. So the fact that I had to go to such extent to do that, of course, I didn't expect them to take my daughter's case seriously. And more or less, every time I tried to reach out to the supposed um detective working on my daughter's case, they always said that he wasn't in the office, wasn't around, you know, that they'll give him my information. So, more or less, six days later from filing the missing persons report, a day before um, they had to submit the case over to the missing persons unit, that's when the, um, the detective working on the case, all of a sudden, you know, he's calling me up trying to find out, find out information. So I feel like those times, those five to six days, that were spent where nobody was working on the case were critical because for me on the 28th, I got a very chilling phone call at two in the afternoon from a girl, you know, basically asking me if my daughter ever made it home. And I found that to have been very interesting. Mm -hmm. The police officer was there when the call came through, but nobody seems to be taking this to heart. What what are you at at this point? I mean, your child's been missing since December twenty seventh. I mean, as the day goes by, I mean, I'm I'm hoping that you're not losing hope. I mean, obviously, as a parent, you can't. What do you want to say to Abiana if she's listening? If somebody knows where she's at, what do you want to say to them? What I would like to say to Abiana is, I miss her. She is my first child. You know, I'm a teenage parent. I was a teenage parent then. I raised my daughter by myself for fifteen years. And then, you know, just when the hard work is done, you know, your daughter is not home. I have a four-year-old at home who's constantly asking, where is her sister? Mm. I need everybody's help. All right, stop stop right there, Shirley, because I, I know you're hurting. Ladies and gentlemen, to all my family in the New York City area and around the country, please go to Bays and Live on Twitter and Bays and Live on Facebook. Right now, we're going to replay this interview. Please help us help this mother find her child. Shirley Losiel from Brooklyn, New York. We're trying to find Abiana Losiel. She's 15 years old. She's been missing since December 27th. Please help us find this child.